Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Age of the Ring. It's a mod for Battle for Middle Earth, and you know, that game that came out a bajillion million years ago. And it's still going strong, baby. And what a mod this is. There's so many cool things to show. I thought I'd do a video on it since I did one over the weekend, and it'd be helpful for me to have a look at the factions in a little bit more detail, and it'd be helpful for you at home if you want to watch those videos, because then you'll know what all the factions are about. It's going to be a quick look, so I'm not going to go massively into the details. Obviously, then it leaves some surprises for you. If you want to check out the mod, links in the description for the mod DB page and their Discord. And yeah, we'll just we'll just crack on. We'll start with my favourite one because I, for one, th like this is Rivendell, right? And Rivendell have quite possibly the best opening units. But we'll have a look at all the buildings just so we can definitely have a look at all the aesthetics. So I quite like the idea of that. But yeah, Rivendell, man, it's uh, from what I understand, they've got the how would one describe it? They've got access to some of the most powerful elven units in the game. You can have some heroes over here. We've got Arwen, Gl Glidor, these dudes. Aragorn, he's there as well. Glorfindel, Elrond. I don't know much about the, War uh, the Warhammer. The Lord of the Rings background lore. Building Although I'm going to start to read it now that I've started playing this game. I do definitely want to read the actual books so I get to know things. But yeah, so the structure for resources. It's an orchard. Little little apples and, and stuff. That's cute. And then we have got the forge, which is some dudes hammering away an elven man making a sword or spinning it around. Quite nice stuff. It gets all, all your usual upgrades here. Nothing crazy going on there. Also build a Dunedain gathering while it's going on. But this, this is the building where it's at, baby. This is, this is the, uh, the creme de la creme of, of unit production buildings. Because it's got hobbitses in it. Little hobbitses. Right? So we'll, we'll we'll make one of each. But then also, I don't know if this has any any things going on for it. But you'll be able to just press a button and then... Look, there's... there's they have a party. And then, then the hobbits come out and play. Like, I assume there's no tactical advantage to this. I assume there's no benefit at all. The, the, these models have health, so I don't know whether they can be murdered mid-dance, but I like it. It's nice. And here come the hobbits. What are these guys? They're good against pikemen, I assume. Strong against infantry, because stealth near trees. And <laughs> look at them go. All wearing the top hats. They've all got varying forms of pipes and feet. Excellent stuff. That's what I like to see. I assume that these guys are particularly good in combat, but they just look cool, and they've got a song. You can also get Farmer Maggot and Fatty Blodgett as things. I'll actually show you Farmer Maggot later on because he's got some interesting things going on. What have we got over here? We've got Dunedin people. Got a blooming, an Aragon-esque person sat there swiping his sword. Got some Dunedin Outriders. That's the cavalry options for these guys. Got some sentries as well so we can have some permanent thingies inside the tower, which I assume is here. Oh, we'll press that as well just for having a look at things. Also, I might want to build up some more forges actually just in case we need... More blooming economy for later on. We're going to be spend a lot, spending a lot of money. Here's the, here's the archers. Tones guard reporting. Eventually. Love the love the accents on these guys. Steady on. Steady on. There's talk of strange folk abroad. Strange folk abroad. Oh what what where in England's that accent from? It's, it's um Barnsley. Who are we, my love? But either way, either way. And we've got, we've got them in big old elves stuff. So, it's it's not the most complicated faction, but they have got, one, they've got hobbits, men, elves. It's just, just a wonderful selection of things to do. And you can also, where is he? You can also build Elrond's library, which, yeah. So from what I understand from this faction, you don't necessarily need to get to the high tier elf stuff to really get cracking with this stuff, but... I mean, it's, it's just different options for players, isn't it? Which I quite like. Let's also get Blooming Elrond out, shall we? Oh, no, we can't afford him. It's too expensive. We'll get Arwen out. Why not? But I think that's that's really all I need to show about this faction. Look at these models. They're ready for, for a scrap, aren't they? In the bathrobes. But yeah, not much else to really show. We'll just have a look at Elrond's library, because I think... If memory serves, you can see him standing outside of Bilbo, and I think that's that's pretty neat. But the, the amount of detail that goes on into these mods, I... 
You know what, this, this this channel's basically become a mod channel for all intents and purposes, apart from the, the Let's Plays that I do to keep my brain sane. But, yeah, man. You know, they don't make RTSs like they used to, and they don't need to, because I think with people who are making mods and stuff, like, do you, do you need them to remake things when we could just have wonderful modders doing these things? I don't know if that's Elrond. It's some dude. I think that's Bill Burr. Checking him out. Hi, how are you doing? Got some upgrades going on here. What, these are just basically doing stuff. Specific upgrades for specific types of units, economy-wise and stuff. So very high tier stuff. Hello, Arwen, how are you doing? You've got no sword, and you can do... Oh, you can just upgrade yourself. Fair enough. And do magic, I assume. You can always pause and, and look at these things in your spare time, but I'm not going to because Father Maggot, look at him, he's got dogs! Ha 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 ha! Look at him go. He's got a thing, and he's got three wolf puppers. And if you leave him on standby for a little bit, he'll start playing with the dogs. Which is cool. We'll, we'll see, we'll see if, he, if he does anything. Go on. Play with the puppers. Get involved. Don't know how long he's going to stand still for to make that happen, but... hey ho. Uh, and all this is free, by the by. You can... Uh, since um, Battle for Middle Earth and all its other things... Ah, it's dancing. Yeah. Uh, but since all it's basically abandoned where, you can actually get all the games for free, more or less. And no one's going to hunt you down for it. So yeah, nice one. We've also got powers, which uh, won't bother looking at all. We'll just look at the big ones. We've got Tom Bombadil for 25. We've got Wrath of the Bru Bru Brunen? Brunen? Whatever. The big ones, they they do things. There's, there's other things which I shall hover over so you can pause to your own delights. But I ain't going to read it because I'm not a reading man. And I don't wish to do that. Plus, I think it'd be really boring as a viewing spectacle. So, that was Rivendell. A quick look at those guys and the models and their general vibe. Just just a general, I mean, relatively normal faction. But they've got lots of options for the units and for the hobbits, men, and elves. Let's go to the next one. All right, so here we are with Dol Guldur. Now, these are a very interesting, unique faction. So, they've got a bunch of wraith people. I thought, are they called wraiths? They're called Tethered Shades. And what they do is that when you pop them into building a building, it actually cancels them. Like, well, not cancel them, it, it just basically become the building. So you lose the actual builder, and yeah, it's quite an interesting mechanic. It means that you've got to constantly keep your builders on the go. Was that a spy lair? I can't remember what that was. It was whatever. I'll wait for that to build first. But yeah, so they've got this like little ring around them, which is basically kind of like an influence, and a lot of their units, especially the undead ones, because this is the necromancer dude, uh, for Dol Golder, uh, they uh, lose health when they uh, spend a long time outside of this kind of range. So you need to make sure, almost like um, kind of like the, the the spread of oh, what's the swarm people called from StarCraft Two or the Necromancer people from Warcraft? They've got like a space around them. And it's like oh, you, you could do more better stuff when you're in our area, which is you know great for explaining things. <laughs> I should really know more stuff before making videos like this, but I won't, because you can't make me. I'm a grown-up. But yeah, so they've got wonderful, happy, helping people who are just casually, you know, they're volunteers. That's what they are in the slave mill. Got some infestations, and have also some refreshed slaves, some a horde of broken rabble. So they're, like, they're, they're production buildings. or not production, they're resource buildings. Quite easily defendable, if you spread them out. Also got these ones that can produce... Rep uh, reproduce things, and they make, like, blighted trappers and entwives, which is quite interesting. In fact, we'll even make an entwife while we're knocking around. Also make some more production, because I want to make sure that I can keep this video streamlined as possible. But yeah, come the rabble. They're not very happy at being what they are. And look at them. They've all got chains, they've all got clubs. And they've, yeah, so a lot of them have got this ability to slow decay. Units can continuously be drained of necromancer's magic, slowly losing health over time. Uh, that's when they're not around this. So we'll stand the rabble outside here for a little bit. We've got undead orcs, I assume. Or goblins. They're not too happy about their situation either, but they've got cool of cloves. So, whatever. They've also got forks on the end of their sticks, which is nice. Let's build up some more slave mills while we're knocking around. We can upgrade. Oh, we need this to be level 3 to get an wife. Fine, we can do that. That's fine. Also got some spitters. A fell brood. Which I assume is their 
cavalry options, maybe. And what kind of heroes can we go for, then? We could go for Frown the Broken, Crimple the Torturer, Cargast, Queen Sh Shenup, that's a spider lady, Kahul the... or Cam Ka Kamul? Kamul, the Easterling. And, of course, the Necromancer, the big bad boy himself. Chapter Master of the Undead. What else have we got going on? It's a bit annoying that these guys do disappear for the sake of this video, but that's fine. Summoning Spire of Sorcery. That's not bad at all. Oh, and these guys talk. That's, that's exciting. I did not notice this at first. Terrifying. But how are you guys doing outside the... Yeah, these guys are not too happy. So they'll come back over here and be like, hey, can we be alive some more? Now, these guys, you can also upgrade them for necromancy. So when we build that Spire of Sorcery, we can turn these guys into Risen Dead. I don't know if that makes them better or worse, but I suppose, like, maybe if they're low health. In fact, we can even try it. We can bring these guys out and see if they've got lower health. And then when we change them into Skelly Man, then maybe they'll be better. But yeah, Entwife, a corrupted Ent Lady. You can also stick it inside the Fountain of Corruption for more resources. More oh, look, happy, happy rabble people going about their business. Haha. <laughs> Love it. Despite the sorcery, we can get more infestation. So, yeah, infestation. Lots of things have infestation. Armed Castellans, Harbingers of Shadow, Greater Blight. Lots of cool and interesting things for them. And then a Ruinous Tower? Is that? Oh, you're just a defensive tower. But hear me out, right? So one ability that they can have is, if memory serves, is... Did they have a tower? No, this was a different faction. I'm getting them confused. But yeah, it is basically all the things that you can have a look at. Again, pausing for, for reading effect. But from what I can understand, they've got a lot of... I mean, oh god, someone's a corrupt ancient spirit of the forest. That's terrifying. Uh, I wish there was a, a way that I could just, like, get all the points maximum and then show you one, but I can't. What, what, what so if that? I kill you guys and bring you back as undead, do you become full health again? Yes, you do. That is super useful. Right, so definite horde mechanics going on for these guys. And look, the end, the end, the end woman, the end lady, she can bombard, she can also choose to a close range attack. And if you stick her inside the font of corruption, look at her go, she has a party. Evil tree, evil tree, go about your wicked foul business. So, reference. Maybe you English people will know. Doubt people across the, the pond will get it, but if you do, haha, <laughs> man of culture. And yeah, that, that's, that's these guys. So, so one really cool um, mechanics going on here with the spread of their corruption, shall we say, their undead units and all that stuff. So, very nice, very nice indeed. Let's go on to the next one. So here we are with Gondor. Now, I imagine these guys are going to play very similar to how they did in the original. Got all these heroes here. Oh, we can summon them in uh, Denifor. Wonder how useful he'll be. We're just running around and stuff. But apparently in the books, he's like a lot more of a decent bloke rather than anything else. So build some farms. We'll have a look at people. See how they go for stuff. Blacksmiths as well. I love as well how the upgrade buildings also get resources as well. Which is quite nice. But yeah, I haven't actually had a proper look at these. To be honest, I've only had a look at the ones that were different or new to the thing so far. Because I assume that these guys will be quite similar to how they are in the original, like I say. A quick look at these things while we're knocking around as well. Uh, yeah. It's, uh... I love this mod. So good. They've also got, like, a whole campaign system as well. So single player is a major thing as well. Oh, King Essela. Coming by the Royal Guards. And, ah, yes, yes, the, the Eagles. Bring forth the eagles. That's exactly what you want. Farm, how are you doing, farm? Hey, you got a little man. He's doing the, the, the farming and stuff. Cool. Right, so barracks, fairly standard stuff. It takes a while to get these builds out. Oh, I suppose one thing I noticed about Dongol Do is that their builders only cost 100 resources. Because these guys cost 500, so actually, these guys are quite expensive. Don't want to lose them. So we'll stick you guys there. Got a forge. Hold on, let me... Let me Queue up some more buildings. The siege works. Stick them there. Little blacksmith. Hello, blacksmith. How are you doing? Battering the swords away. Coolier, bro. Good stuff. 
And even though, like, the graphics are a little... Oh, you even... The, the farm happens. Quit growing. Clearly, GMO fruits and crops, but that's cool. Got lads hanging around. We'll summon some... All right, so your initial things. You don't get the minister of people. You get general lads coming out. Lambda, Vale Archers... If 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 Ilian Rangers get those guys as well. We nice, we and we also have a marketplace stone worker. You have resources based on available terrain. Is it just oh the more stone? You right, I see. Okay, that's exciting. So an additional resource for them. Your trebuchet. Everyone loves a trebuchet. Also, all these guys, all these buildings have lads hanging around outside them, so easier for defending purposes. And a wall hub, so we can actually construct walls here. We'll see how, how that how that works for us. Because in the, the Battle for Middle Earth 1, you could make your own castles. Which is quite exciting. Here they are. Regular boys, the militia, so to speak. We'll grade you and see what the Minister of People look like. Why not, while we're here. May as well. Here comes a trebuchet. Every man loves a trebuchet. You have Gondorish people there. If you were to choose between being born in Gondor, being born in Rohan, which one would you choose and why? Personally, I know that wasn't an option that I gave you, but I'd choose the Shire. The Shire is a huge vibe. There we go, Stoneworks. Oh, and oh, for a second I thought people were going to come out to mine the stone, but no, these guys, lots of defenders here. So very good stuff. Building inspections, nearby structures gain 30% plus armor. Right, okay, so if you build this near a stone structure thing and then you adjacently build things, that's interesting. Oh, okay, nice. Nice. Also, by the way, all these HQs have got, like, forged upgrades and stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on over there, and like I said, I don't want to show you everything because I want there to be things for you to um, discover as you're playing it because that's half the fun of playing these kinds of games, isn't it? Is discovering things on your own. There's a wall hub. Can I? Yes, look at that. Nice. So I can stick you in. Come on, let me. Can I do that? And I assume we could also build a gate there as well, sir. So. Ah, cool. You see some ministerial people come out. Because I think generally it's quite standard, is Gondor, isn't it? It's the kind of. It's the base faction that you would play if you don't want to play with any unusual mechanics. But there they are. The boys in grey. With the nice little shieldy thing going on. Lovely. Okay, so moving swiftly on to the next one. And while we are in Urgy territory, let's have a look at Mordor as well. So we've got Slay Farm. Produces meat. And then I assume you've got... There we go, the good old Lumber Farm. Which, resource dependent, but... Or dependent on trees and stuff, but apparently it's, it's got a lot quicker to gain your resources. Well, it's still 500. What heroes can you get? Garbag. Shag rat, never shag a rat though, whatever you do. Got General Nazgul's, Goth Mog, the Mouth of Sauron, Moloch, and of course, the Witch King of Angmar. There's slaves going around collectively farming. That's nice of them. Orcus Stronghold for the good times. Do love how angry the, the, uh, the builders sound. No slacking, absolutely not. Not when there's first to slay. And more Dorish things to get up to. And what does your Goth Mo Go Gorgamoth... God, that's so hard to say. Whatever that found you. Ooh, it's, it's like a... It's like a pizzeria for a second then. Yes, yeah, so we've got Lumberers, and you can even make some more if you really want to. And they'll go around and start whacking down these... What are these boa trees? Or berber trees, or whatever. Those really thick trees you find in Africa. Maybe, maybe. We've got the Easterling Garrison. So kind of a little bit like Rivendell. You get a little bit of buff. Get the Mordor Orcs and the regular. As these guys are super duper cheap. And also really quickly to recruit from what I can gather. What kind of upgrade? Actually, no, no. I said that I won't show the upgrades for the fortresses. Because that's your job. Yeah, look at him go. Little blacksmith. They always look so peaceful to the blacksmiths in this game. Just minding their own business. Building up their own stuff. And, yeah, what else have we got? Any more builders? Oh, I can click down here. Right, that's useful. Troll cage. And a siege works over here as well. 
Here they are. Orcs is. These guys. Yep. Yeah. A brandy rabble. No one's got the same kind of... Oh, we've got some people using Gondor shields, but they painted the eye over them. And also Eastling shields as well by lots of things. Yeah, I like that. Attention to detail. These things have finally completed it, like as if they've been waiting... As if... Hmm. How rude of you. But yeah, we've got these guys as well. Very similar to how they worked in the OG original. Anything else crazy going on? Not particularly. Got some trolls. We saw that in the video on... Oh, look at him go, look at him go. Yeah. Smack him around. Get him good, get him proper. The doors to the great siege yeah, that's that's how orcs do it. That's definitely how orcs do it. Oh, when, when can I cannibalise another unit? Or is that just a different thing? Probably someone else. Probably something else. Here come the Easterlings. Rise up. Rise up. Yes. Love the... Aesthetics of the Easterlings. Very Arabian Nights. Nice. And the siege works, we've got a Baring Ram. <laughs> I like it. The Great Orc Siege Works. We've taken a log. And we're going to hit their door with the log. That's wonderful. We've also got Grond as well. 5,000 resources, but I imagine that just blooming destroys things. Can't cross bridges, though. And Great Beast of Gor... Gorgoroth. There we go. Are you a Gorgoroth one as well? Go, go, rough. Right. Look at me learning. Learning and, and, and earning. All that stuff. So yeah, another another r relatively simple faction. Nothing crazy going on with these guys, but wonderful to see. All the same. So yeah, well, uh, carrying on. Alright, so this is the Haradraf. Now these guys, I've got a super interesting... Uh, well, I mean, their aesthetics are wonderful. But they've also got some really, really cool uh, mechanics on the go here. Which you'll, I, I, you'll be very impressed by. Now, all these guys, they've got... I think, from what I understand, there's not much law written about them, so they've had to make their own kind of characters and stuff. But they've, they've done a really, really good job on a lot of these things. The Golden King of Arabakan, or Ab Abrakan, which is quite cool. Right, so you start building other things. We'll get to you in a bit. So, super interesting diversity in this faction, in the sense that you get so many different kinds of play styles, I, from, from what I understand. We've also got these caravans, right? We've got a trade caravan, and we've got a Amazir caravan. And these both are mobile support structures. One is a mobile economy structure, one is support. One can basically get the upgrades and stuff, increase ad, uh, experience and stuff, get the wall. All right, so here's a really cool thing. So they don't necessarily recruit in the early stage of the game. They don't necessarily recruit units. They recruit warlords, and the warlords... I'll, I'll show you in a bit, but they basically just get... um units for themselves so you can be a lot more flexible you can get a load of warlords think ah the enemy's gone for one kind of composition and then switch it around which is really really interesting so here comes a caravan and this is the i think it's the was it the trade caravan yeah the economy structure so you pop him down and he then changes into a caravan look at that and then basically it, 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 it can upgrade uh, units nearby can be upgraded with silken banners passive ability which is quite cool and then the longer it sits down for a while the and it also gets a capitalist bonus I quite like that um you can also upgrade people once it gets to like level two and level three so you stick him down he'll does his trading and stuff and then you get some boys out and here comes the warlord and we can recruit tribal axemen bowmen or spearmen we'll go for axemen because why not and he's all like, hey, come forth! And the axemen appear. And these guys can come over. And I do believe... Oh, these guys, right, so these guys don't have access to being upgraded with banners. But, hey, oh, that's fine. The, I mean, the rel are they cheap? How cheap are you? For 200, that's not terrible. It's not a terrible price. And there we go, we've got some... Got, we've got them in. A support caravan. Little, little camels. Ah, they've got like a little, a little kettle in there. Camels and dudes. And they, they've got things like backers of teas, caravan must be deployed, replenish one fallen unit in nearby battalions. They've also got different general passive abilities, so great for... Um, it's, all, it's almost as if like... It's really weird, so you'd be having a fight in the front lines. It's like, oh, quick, put the caravan up so the men can have tea while they're uh, fighting. It's quite quite large area of effect as well, so 
Maybe it's more of a defensive structure, but good all the same. Let's have a quick ganders at the other... Oh, right, so right, we'll, we'll build up the cigarette over here, because that's quite a sexy building. We'll also build up a pavilion of the Golden King, because that's that's got the best unit in the game, this building. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a minute. But these guys get the more... Narub is it Nerubians? What are you? The Mahud gathering. So these are more like your, your, your tribal... So, uh, obviously, Tolkien took his influence from... What was it? Middle East. Is it Sahara Africans? My knowledge of the Middle East and Africa is non-existent. I will be honest. I'm quite up to date with, like, European history, American history, um, Korean history, a little bit of Chinese and Japanese for reasons, but, like, because I lived there for a little while. But my knowledge of Africa and Middle East... Very not, oh, and India as well, non-existent, non-existent at all. But yeah, look at these dudes. They're cool. And also, like, these guys, like, there's, like, little bits. I don't know whether we'll hear it because I've turned the music off for copyright reasons, but, um, you sometimes hear, like, little chanting going on, which is really, really cool. Mahout! Yes! Love it. Right, so, biggest, best, you know, all right, well, hold on, we'll save that. We need to upgrade it a little bit more. So have a look at the... Or this, this, this ziggurat, and you can summon some zigger cultists. But yeah, there's some wonderful background music going on when you build this. Absolutely phenomenal. But you might be able to hear it now, actually. Oh, how intimidating is that? Absolutely just... So it's a little bit Aztec as well. Which is interesting. I don't know whether this is specifically Azteci or whether there's maybe some African or Middle Eastern cultures that have these kinds of buildings. Or is it more Akkadish? Akkadian? I don't know. I'm sure it's showing my ignorance here. But, right, so these guys, they do magic. So, Fist of the Underworld, do some fire. Boom. And they also sacrifice people to do that magic. And they also level up at the same time. Desolation. Fill the desolation, go! It kills a dude as well. They can be upgraded for more things. And yes. How cool is that? Uh, what else is the Oh yes, the the there's these dudes. Right. Oh, just, just you wait. Just you wait. It's the best unit in the entire game. Can we build up anything else? A desert lookout? A girl? No, we've already checked that out. Build a fortress? You oh, that's a fortress, right. Okay. And... Black Numenor have we, have we built this yet? I don't think we have. But Black Numenorians, they're cool. Evil Numenorians. Of all things. And actually, can I now... Can you get a Silicon Baron banner? No, you can't. But you can increase this guy to... Nearby caravan, you can enable this upgrade. Which caravan, though? Is it a trade caravan? Or is it just any caravan? Let's give it a go. What do you do? And have you been summoned? Yes! Oh, look at this! Evil orangutan! Ooh! Like, fantastic. Who needs a troll when you can just have, like, a really angry orangutan to beat people up? <laughs> Love it! Amazing! So what do you do? You've just got an extra dude in there with a really cool back cape thing. That's nice. So here we go. We've got the... Oh, Corsairs of Umbar, Numenorians. Right, so these, these are just basically like the... God, oh, because Numenor was a city-state, wasn't it? Near the curse and stuff. Look at him just standing on the edge. Loving all his, his life and stuff. So, super-duper interesting faction. Loads of players to have mobile resources, mobile upgrades. Different players to make you go for these guys. I assume that different people have like different things. Like these guys have got war mucks and stuff, but lots of options to go for here, so really interesting. I'd be, to be honest, this is probably the faction that I'd be most interested in playing a lot to just get my head around them. Here's the pirates. Look at them go. Oh, the Barbary Cursed. Well, obviously the Barbary Cursed were super baddies. We don't talk about them in Europe, but, you know, they're, they're there. They're there indeed. So, okay, moving on to more. Oh, no, but before we do that, we'll look at the powers. So, Horn Serpent Lord, Dry Spell, Oh, this is the one, right? So so these are the guys that got a really cool level one spell. 
They're just able just to straight up just... So able to like... I don't know, early game map control, I reckon. So throw that down there, bring a caravan over, bring some troops over, and you earn a little area quite nicely. So quite an aggressive faction potentially here. So more stuff that you can pause and stuff. Oh, Wind Demon, that's cool. More tribal camps. In fact, yeah. Quite an interesting selection of... Oh, you can put the Black Matriarch, a towering Mamak. Or a M M M M Malak? I'm not pronouncing any of these right. I'm going to leave that. Okay, so here we are with the goblins from the Misty Mountain. They've got Orc Tunnels, which are good for relocating your troops over everywhere. They've also got more lumber mills. I wonder if they've got the same models as the Mordor stuff. We shall have a look. What units can you get? Mugash. Glomfimble. <laughs> yeah, the... the fairly, fairly, look, look at the mold, poor lad. The great gob... Oh, is he the... We've got to recruit him because I want to see what he looks like. I'm Balg of the North. Poor lad. But yeah, I think from... from Oh, even their recruitment buildings, they get resources. That's very interesting. I'm not sure whether that's similar to the the um, vanilla, but... Okay, interesting. Are your builders... Oh, no, your builders are still 500. A mountain orc lodge. It's nice that they can have lodges. Oh, is that a goblin horde? Oh, right. Oh, that's not a recruitment building. That is a... That is just a thing for resources. Okay, fair enough. Do you have different units? You do! You've got little gobbers! Ah, oh, wonderful attention to detail. Very nice stuff. I love that. That's great. Okay, alright. Nearest builder. Let's go for a Moria Orc cave as well. And a wolf! Wolfy people! Word to the fairies. We'll get some wolfy people down in there. But yeah, so I imagine they're kind of similar to the dwarfs in a certain way with their, with their resource building, that they're able to move people around, which will help them in defending their stuff. Got the horde here. The little dragon. Gold about it. Very nice stuff. And not much in the way of unit diversity here. Only strong against pikemen and infantry with the Moira archers, so gotta be careful with them. Also, some are more expensive than Mordor Orcs. What have we got here? We have got Mountain Orc Slashers, Mountain Orc Brutes. So, again, we'll have a look at those. Why not? Some Wolfy Wolves. Some against Swordsmen and Archers. And anything else? A Troll Lair. And a Worm Lair. Ooh. Uh, requires the Brood of the North upgrade, which I assume comes from... Are you in here? Brood of North? Brood of North, there you are. Quite expensive. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have a look at it anyway. Here are the gobbers. How are you doing? Nice little goblin people. Friendly. Love the, love their shields. Really, really like their shields there. What ability have you got? Poison blades, poison target, and deals damage over time. Quite good. But you mountain orcs. Yeah, you're already at it, aren't you? You love it. No shields on you. You're always here for a good time. Get him. Get him good. Get him proper. Troll there. Ooh, that's an interesting little... Little doofry doodad. Nice. It's a mountain troll. They have a cave troll. All that good stuff. Snow trolls. Giant bat. Mountain giant. As is good and proper for the gobbers. Have we got your hour upgrade yet? We do, I think. So, Wormler. I might need to wait a while to get these resources up because we've been spending way too much not building enough the resources, but... I just... Oh, wolf doggers! Hello, doggers! Yeah! Friendly, happy doggers. And what do you do? Howl! Ooh, yeah. Winter Cup. Makes them nice and warm, I guess. These poor trees. Oh, dear. look at that goblin labor face. Look at his face. He's not pleased to be there, is he? Not pleased at all. But yeah, what I'll do is actually, I'll, I'll, I'll quick, I'll, I'll, I'll cut to when all this is done and, and researched. All right, so here we are with the fireworm. Whatever you do, don't, don't pet this dogger. It's called a fiery beast. 
And yeah, it just looks really cool, doesn't he? That's that's not bad. It gives me that face, gives me Vol Velocal Raptor, Jurassic Park One vibes there. It's very nice. We've also got the Goblin King on the go. Once you get a uh, Brood of North upgrade, you can also summon this dude. You could just get another one for like free. Oh, insanely useful is that for defensive purposes. So you could basically have like two just chilling out. Apparently these guys can only have four at a time. And this dude can only have one at a time. So potentially really low chaff stuff for the most of the game. And then when you get to the late game, really high ranking monsters. That's probably, I assume, what the goblins are all about. Or oh, the Misty Mountains. Sorry. They're still fighting. Look at them go. Still quite aggressive. Goblin King is on his way. There we go. Look at him. Gee. Now that's a chin right there. Oh, come, come back. Oh, you do you get goblin friends. My goodness, you get goblin friends. Hooray. So I'm summoning goblin town warriors. Number of hordes summoned is analogous to the goblins rank. So I assume that. Oh, look at this. Yeah, just, just loads of friends. So I assume for rank one, he gets one goblin swarm. And then for maybe rank five, he gets another five. Yeah, that's a fleshy chin. Who needs a beard when you've just got the mass going? Very nice stuff. So, yeah, we'll have a quick look at the abilities as well while we're here. So, fell winds, frozen wastes, cave bats. Do quite like the artwork on this stuff, especially that they are coming artwork. Uh, when I used to play the tabletop Lord of the Rings when I was very, very young, that artwork was on the goblin uh, section of the book and terrifying stuff, but you could get a blooming a blooming Balrog, and I think the, the Wereworm, uh, I think that's the, the tentacle, oh no, sorry, that's the that's the Watcher, because some people like to watch. Anyway, okay, uh, that's them, let's, go, let's see some Dwarfs. Alright, so here we are with the Dwarfs, and they've got a really interesting mechanic in the sense that they've got dual build paths. So we've got Urken Shield, which is a sexy Dwarf from The Hobbit, and we've got Iron Foot, which is the not sexy dwarf from not the Hobbit. I'll have a look at Oaken Shield first, because they've got a really interesting. But we'll only have a little look at the uh, Oaken Shield because their main thing or their main difference, shall we say, is whatever it is. It's not the Hall of the Warriors. It's the Erebor Assembly. So these guys have more access to human units, I think. I think that's their general vibe. And just you wait, because we get to we get to bloody recruit Stephen Fry. <laughs> Ah, oh, amazing stuff. What what more could you want in a dwarven faction? If you if you can't recruit Stephen Fry, then are you even playing uh, Age of the Ring, Battle for Middle Earth? Got some interesting units coming out from here, mainly just because. I mean, I'll, I'll, there's a lot of similarities between these the, the two build paths for obvious reasons. We've got the same buildings and same stuff. They've just got like slightly different units to play around with, very slightly. To get uh, Dwarf Traders, that's the point. Well, we'll get some of those. Get Lake Town Watchers as well, because that's the, the main difference in these guys. You, got this, you get the same elite late units from the Iron, Iron, Hill, Iron Hill, sorry. But, yeah, look at them. Yeah. Now, I don't know whether they've got... I don't know whether they've got the actual Stephen Fry to do these voices, but... And all the stock of change must be suppressed. But I do like the voice actor for him. And you can summon, Blumin, summon a spy. And you can summon that spy anywhere on the map. So you just stick him here. You can't move. But look at that vision. Really, really useful. And he's just chilling. Like a northern man. Around the back alley of Staples. Staples still a thing? Staples still a shop? Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. No Hurry. <laughs> I love the accents. Ah, oh, just to the north of England. What a wonderful place to have ears. Will not fall while, we men defend it. while we men defend it. Hey. We've got these dudes. What do you guys do? You just merchants. You can earn resources for people who die near you. Tinkers, traders, toy makers. Ooh, deploy dwarven firework. Nice. Um, and you, your general thing is traders passively heal outside of combat. That's cool. But, yeah, that's realistically all I want to show you for these guys, because other things, from what I understand, 
are fairly similar for the other brand of dwarfs. So we shall have a quick look at them. Okay, so a slight more deeper dive. We'll go for the look at the Iron Foot. And we shall build up some more stuff. Oh, I should have really looked at the powers menu for them to see if there was a difference there. But no, it's gone now. And I'm not going back because this is... It's not a... I, I, this long form kind of content where I'm just talking over things. If it's not a cast or it's not a let's play, I'm not particularly good at it. I'll be honest. There's some people who could just rattle on and have got all the facts in their head. I do not have that ability. I have a very short attention span. And there's not much going on up here, I'll be honest. We're not very bright. Come on, Mr. Landshark channel. But yeah, so they've got assembly, but they've got different men from this, I think. It's a hub. Oh, and their minds, they're similar to goblins. They go about the place. You can also collapse a tunnel if you so wish. Uh, what else is that? Hall of Warriors. We'll go for one of those. And we shall build a Erebor dugout. But good stuff all around. Their forge is a little bit different. There's no blacksmiths on the outside. They're all on the inside doing their stuff. Lots of fire being blown in from the pipes from the ground. Oh, did I just, did I just reset? If I, if I hold on. Oh, you double click to reset it. That's super useful for casting perspectives. Is it that? No? I don't know what I'm doing to trigger that. I'll figure that out later. But yeah, so instead you get barding phalanxes, which are phalanxes? Phalanxes. It's slightly different. Um, like I say, still get the elite units over there. From this dude, you get regular dwarves, as well as these Sulkar Bekkaz bros. So from what I understand from the dwarves, they're standard dwarves, very very standard from... If you imagine, imagine what they are in your head, stocky, slow, able to take a punch, able to give out a punch, but also that maneuverability with the mines as well. But how long does it take to traverse from one mine to another? We'll have a quick look. Got the upgrade, not the upgrades here, the elite vault wardens, strong versus cavalry, monsters, and heroes. Uh, in fact, yeah, very specifically good against the uh, bigger units of, of opposing factions. Here's a regular dwarves. They've not got access. In fact, some of them have got access, some of them have got swords. Wonderful little model diversity there. We'll get some elite dwarves here, why not? And then I assume you've got a work... Yes, you've got a workshop. So we'll stick you in there. And heroic statues, all that stuff. I haven't really looked at this heroic statues or the, or the wells, because they're all practically the same. Right, so if I stick you in there... You go inside, Mr. Builderman. What do you do? Close quarter specialists? Vault dweller war wardens gain 25 thingamajiggies near these people. Okay, quite useful. So can I just... Oh, that's super instant. That's really, really quick. So you can have... You can, in theory, cheese a, a mine over here... And then bring the dwarfs out. Very sneaky. Very tasty. What heroes have you got in... Oh, well, I'll have a quick look at these guys. Not many of them. Oh, you've got frontline spears, backline... Oh, that's that's very interesting. So more formation. Huzzah! Yep, can't get them. Can't get them at all. Yeah, very stalwart defenders there. What heroes can you get? You get a crow, that's cool. Gloin, Harrod, King Brand... Gimli, Thorin, and King Dane. I know who Gimli is. I know who Gimli is. We will not fail this great city. Oh, you've got more of an American accent. Those spears to hand. Yes, quite. Not quite the, the northern accent I was hoping for, but there we go. Oh, Raven, that's cool, I guess. Lady of Raven. Ooh, Lady Raven. That's to grow in strength, purchase uh, to upgrade. Subtle ways become invisible when remaining still. Detects stealthed units. Unkindness of Ravens, Wisdom of Yore, Message of the King. So it's a battalion of barding outriders. Ooh, that's quite useful. Lady Raven. I like that. I like that a lot. What about you, Forge Work? You get a barring ram. You know, no idea what this is. We'll have a quick look at that while we're here. Also, we're looking at the abilities as well. So Dwarven Skill, Repair Structures, Ravens, Horns. Send in the goats. Some of the powerful stampede of goats. I quite like that. But yeah, all the good usual stuff from these guys. I wonder what their big ones are. It is, indeed. Chris an earthquake. And Fallen's Horde summons a Dwarven Horde. Watch out for the greed it could summon. I don't know what that means. Could it summon 
Smaug. Interesting. If you're familiar with this game at all, please let us know in the comments, because that'd be really useful to know. So I ain't, I ain't doing it on this video. It, it, it'd take too long, and I'm on holiday at the moment. That's why I'm doing a video like this. Wouldn't normally do a video like this if I didn't have the time, but I'm on holiday. But I'm not going to do it because I don't have that much time. So there's all these dudes. Come on, Mr. Battlewagon. Or not reading that. Not reading that at all. I'm not a dwarf. You can't make me. Well, I do have the beard for a dwarf. Just, and I am, I am about 5 foot 10, which in modern man standards is dwarf standards height, isn't it? Here he goes, look at him. Can I put people inside you? Is that is that a thing that I can do? What do you do? I deploy a chariot? No, I can't. But oil barrels, launch, fire, throw him a barrel, throw him a barrel, bang, yes. And I assume you can be given extra boys as well. Up on, I'd say we'll cross but right. Okay, yeah, that's level five. Nice. Okay, so that is the dwarves. Okay, so here we are with Rohan. Now, I've again, I've not looked at these guys because they're vanilla people. But, uh, provides bread based on available terrain, which I assume is more space. Yep. We'll build some more builders. I wonder how these guys differ from the original, or whether they're quite similar. We'll get Aomer, Elfhelm, Eric, Fear, Aomer, and of course, King Feodin himself. Ride now, ride for Raph, etc, etc. You know the score. I'm building another builder? Yes, I am. So we'll also get a barracks on the go. There's a good place. Now, can you... Yes, you can... Peasantry of Mark, switch to a recruitment peasant and your spearman. So we can actually change this from a production building into a recruitment building. Just super useful. Oh, oh little, little piggy pig pig. Go on, sunshine. You fill your boots, kid, uh, as a chicken spawns into existence. Nice. I like that. Very much like it. And then... Oh, we could do this as well. So, so we could... Relatively defend your resources quite nicely if you need to. If it, I mean, great as well if you've got like a... What do we call it? A massive resource flirt. You'd spend it on stuff. Just buy more peasants. That's brilliant. What do you look like, peasants? All right, hold on. Let me just build some more stuff while, while we're doing this. Um, stables. Assume those guys are quite important. Here they come. Look at them. Now, do you still have that ability where you're able to change all your peasants into... Draft. Pe peasants get extra things. We'll get that, see if it changes their looks. No, it does not, but... Look at them go. They'll be drafted. Oh, so I do this. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Excellent. I like it. So you get to have, like, a really elite... Pe well, not elite, but... Relatively okay-ish peasant army. Yeah, I'm in Spearman. Uh, let's have a look at some archers. We'll have a look at... All right, so you have an upgrade thingy. Hold on. <coughs> Pardon me, I do have a bit of a king cough. Comic Con was wild. Where's Eric Brand? Right, okay. Level 2 barracks. Uh, these guys can't get much infantry straight off the bat. Eric Brand, you are. Interesting. Okay, so I assume that you'll be reliant on peasants for your initial infantry units. And then as you upgrade, you get these guys. You also get Horsemen of the Mark. So, that's interesting. Okay, all right. Um, Not sure how I feel about that. But then again, I mean, Rohan is not known for its infantry, is it? It's known for mainly its horses, your battle towers, draft towers. Ooh, a draft tower. Interesting. That's different from a regular tower. We'll have a look at what that does. Uh, more builders, please. We get a Rohan statue, wall hub, usual gubbins, nothing too crazy. We'll have a look at the workshop as well. Just to have a look at the, the, the siege man Give going about. Here they are. The Ride for the king indeed. So these guys are just your regular dudes. Oh, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. Holy car phone warehouse. I don't want to buy a phone. Can't afford a phone. <laughs> Aw. All right, so, okay, so, so summon a permanent battalion of Rohirian warriors. Fierce defenders to summon two temporary de peasants. So a permanent battalion of halfing riders. Oh, right, okay, I see. Right, so you get to light the beacons, summon your allies. Okay, are those free as well? 
No, they're not free. No. But for additional reasons. Does that mean, do I get one for each of these things? That's the question. We'll have a look. We'll have a ganders. While we're doing that, how are you doing, Mr. Man? Yeah, building his stuff. Get the log, the horse head ram, the onger, some masonry. So where's your forge then? Is it workshop? Do you not have a forge? Or do you just buy them from... Oh, right. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Right, so this barracks doubles as a barracks and a forge as well. Okay, all right. That makes total sense. I like it. Right, so you can... So just press that and then... Huzzah! I like it. Oh, right, I see. So you can... The draft tower has been completed. Remember your oaths. Right, okay, so, so that basically, you, you can you can store a bunch of these, right? So if I, let me just test this theory. So if I do that, I get a bunch of people summoned, get a fair one, because I want to see what those two long. peasant battalions look like. The oath of yet stands. Interesting. So, highly defensible in the sense they could just recruit people from whatever. Highly flexible as well, because, right, right, actually, let's, let's switch you back to resources, shall we? Thank you. Highly flexible in defense, as then you could just summon, potentially, just hordes of unwashed masses as to wherever you need. These guys look relatively washed, but, you know, not quite the, the Gondor standard. Interesting. So, I've got you saved. And I've got you saved. So, I could just... Yeah! That's terrifyingly useful. And I see... What? What? Why have you not just been summoned? Could be rebought after usage. Huh. Can I only have one activated at one time, maybe? You summon the peasants there. That's always an option. Yeah, just to summon a mass of, of peasants. Get them involved. Yes! The swarm! I assume you've got, like, benefits people nearby you, maybe. Very good. Only temporarily. They don't last for long, but they last long enough to defend. How long is that cooldown? Not terribly long, neither. So you could potentially just free, and then just summon one, wait for that cooldown to end, summon another one. All right. Okay. I like it. I know that these are horse people. We've only looked at the... Well, I mean... Water McCollum's the uh, infantry, but the peasants are, are, are what really does it for me, for, for Rohan. All right, okay, we'll have a quick look at the power menu for the usual gubbins and stuff. Ooh, shore, shore up for, re for repairing structures, if I can get my words out. Horns of the Westfold, mustard over here, bountiful harvests. Uh, the sunrise, oh, the boar. Some of the great boar, why not? Stormcrow and three hunters. Cool. And last march, Treebeard. All those guys. That's nice. I like that. Okay, cool. Let's move on. Okay, so the Might of Mordor. Much like before, they've got their usual furnaces. They've got their lumber mills. We'll see what these guys look like down here. Oh, we'll, st we'll stick you down here. Why not? You know what to do. What heroes have you got? You've got Wormtongue. You've got Sharku. Ugluk. Lurtz. Wolfgar? Who are you? Someone. And you are Sauron. Or Sauron, even. Definitely not Sauron. Definitely not Sauron. So, I imagine if, if memory serves from the vanilla, these guys are basically like your... Much like Mordor, except a lot more elite. A lot more deadly. Also, quick with the resources, I think. On, they've got like, a lot of like resource building upgrades. Build an armory. We'll have a look at you while we're doing things. What else we got? We've got Clan Steading. Oh, Wild Men, of course, yes. The Wild Men of, of the Hill Tribes. Oh, that's probably what you are then, Mr. Mr. What's your face? Wolfgar. Like Norse Northerners coming down and pillaging and taking things in an unconsensual manner. Yes. I mean, not yes, but that's what they do. Overkai, oh, you start with Overkai Scouts. 
Okay. Before them going for the fighting Urukai. Okay. So so maybe it's like a little bit of a slower build. You start off... Oh, yeah, because, I mean, what, you get... Yeah, these seem quite expensive. Sapper, Urukai Berserkers, Shield Bows. Wonderful selection of heavy infantry here. So, oh, we've got, we got a little... A little... Yeah. I mean, probably could build that near, near a, a river, but... You know, you know we're, not, we're not here to split hairs, are we? Got a Dunleng Longhouse as well. Requires Wolfgar. Trains Dunlending units. Let's get Wolfgar then. While we're knocking around. And the Hill Tribes, about your cheap. Oh, well, how, how expensive is a regular? Right, so a regular fight over is 500. Because you are half the, well, whatever fraction you would be of, of them. Wildman Spearman as well. I assume you're probably like, Weaker, but faster, maybe. We've had nothing but maggoty bread for three <laughs> stinking days. Love that. Absolutely love that. Oh, well, Berman, you can also swap them to Stabby Bits. Yes. I like it. The Wild Men. Let's have a look at you. Coming closer. There we go. Oh, so we've got Bear, Hel ha uh, bear Hats on. Yeah, much more Norse are these lads. Look at them dancing around. A grand old time. They love it, don't they? Those Norsemen. Love a good boogie. And what else is there? There's a Warg pit. There's a siege works. There's a Warg sentry. Nope. Is that just a picture of... Oh, the dude from the Churd Norsemen. That guy. Ragnar Lofbrok. Have they just basically just taken a picture of him? <laughs> I love that. Yes, okay, yeah, no, Longhouse, yeah, that's, okay, right, it is, it is Vikings. It is Vikings, Mr. Lanshark, you've seen it, you know it. Hurdy gurdy gurdy, I travel on boats, yeah, I get ya. I know what your Norsemen are like. What do you look like? Yes, oh, it, they've just basically made him in, in game, haven't they? No one aspires to be king, Ragnar Lofbrok, but you're here, gosh darn it. So make the most out of your situation. You can also heat blast, uh, knocks back enemies and sets the surrounding area on fire. That's quite useful for, def for defensive reasons. And what models have you got for things? Are you just the same as the orcs? I assume you are. Rip their trees up by the branches, or by the roots even. But my lord, their roots are deep. Etc, etc. Insert the quote here. And a Dunlan Axeman. Okay, alright, so you've got choices here. You can either go for the elite heavy infantry or the less elite heavy infantry, but with a Viking theme. It's got Warg Riders. Just one selection, though. Only good against swordsmen and archers, so pikemen might be a, a problem for them. Not as mobile in their cavalry, or so not as diverse in their cavalry choices as other factions. But yeah, amazing selection of. Oh, no, you've got Outriders. Okay, fair enough. Done the Shacksman. Ready for war. Love the accents on these guys. Yeah, very wonderful set. Long axes as well. Good stuff. And was there, was there another thing before we, before we move on? There was was the siege workshop, which I imagine will have some good stuff in there. Go we'll get in there. Fix that attitude of yours, indeed. I do love how these guys just have, like, oh, a lot of these buildings just have, like, dudes just hanging around outside. What are you up to? Oh, you're just... More food for the fire, I guess. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, this is where they make them, isn't it? They, they, they pull them out of the, the thing, and then they're like, right, right, okay, into the... Into the pit you go for recruitment purposes. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. What are you guys up to? Just making bricks. That's nice of them. Oh, no, they're making iron. Never mind. Very efficient, though. Ooh, yes. Very good. Let's put this siege works to use. Yeah, let's put this siege works to use. Yes, so they get Baring Ram, Siege Ballista, and Explosive Mine, much like in the Siege of Minas... Not Minas Tirith. Just slap my hand there. Blooming Helm's Deep. Let's take a hunting. Some Warg Riders. Uh, Lose your Warg Riders. Yes. And a Howl. Good. Excellent stuff. So yeah, heavy, heavy focus on the heavy infantry. 
but all good old sim. Let's have a look at the powers before we bounce. Got Crabber, Scrabber from Dunlan. Oh, there's so many quotes uh, for the Mord or oh, sorry, for the Isengard faction, which is quite neat, quite cool. Fuel for the fires, freezing rain. No one ever likes to fight in the rain. And fell storm. Ah, yes. Let's bring down the mountains. Okay, moving forward. Okay, so here we are with the Woodland Realm now. This is a, another faction that we saw on the cast we did the other day. They've got the resource buildings as usual. They've got, ooh, a little special noise in the background. What else do you have? You've got these dudes. Farron. Got Radagast. Ooh, the brown. Nice. Okay. Got Grimbor gone. You've got Legolas. Got King Frandiel. Ah, oh, thank you. Oh, what a, what a polite, a polite sound. Right, so Sylvan units. I do apologise. <laughs> Good lord. What do you do? Oh, you're just generous wine. Yay! Hooray! I like that. Generous wine. You also recruit hunters. We'll we'll go for some of you. So able to get units out straight away more or less when you build those resource buildings. Go for a Bar Burnham Lodge. There is, much to do. there is much to do. A Royal Barracks. So these guys apparently got like really small Coming units. But, oh, you're just one singular dude. All right, okay. So what do you do? Woodland Attire, Sylvan Scouts are fast scouts to earn resources while killing foes. Oh, ooh, so they're like builder unit hunters, maybe. They won't see me. So I don't, I don't, that's time remaining. That's fair, the unit becomes stealth for 30 seconds, but will lose stealth if attacked. I shall set up a trap. Okay, all right. I know these paths. Ooh, I love that voice actor. Tracks lead this way. I want him to whisper sweet nothing to my ear. New structure has I been know completed. these paths. Okay. Oh, that's a nice little little uh, building. And what, what comes from you? Woodman Hunters. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. Okay, so you can get regular dudes, I guess. And you can have... God, these buildings are beautiful. And these guys, like, like I said on the on the thing on the, the previous weekend, they get little little people to will will things. That's where their resources come from. And the wine people making the wine. Nothing to whine about there. All right. So what comes from you? You've got the Megan warriors. Nice one. We stand in defense of this land. Oh, okay. I. Oh, for a second, I thought the builders part of the unit then. Ah, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, d the Huntsman and the Woodsmen don't know if these guys are... Oh, they're against the hordes of Don Gul'dur, so I assume that these guys are something to do with that. My knowledge of the law is non-existent there. Siege weapons, what do Elvish siege weapons look like? Crazy. Greenwood Warriors, ready for orders. Greenwood Warriors. Look at that, even though they're tier 1, we are needed they've got all the... I mean, armor and stuff, so I imagine that these guys are quite useful and quite good. How much do you cost? 800 for tier 1 units, so definitely small amounts of elite units. Build a cellar door. A small amount of resources based on available terrain. Okay. Wooden lookout. Well of wine. Yes. Lots of stuff going on here. We have a new structure. But do you have any cavalry? Is that the question? Uh, uh, hmm. Is it cavalry from somewhere? Royal, that's the Royal Barracks. That's the Royal Barracks? Yes. Unless we upgrade you. Are you Hall Watchers? Right, right. Okay, you get, you get those riders that from there. Oh, yes. What is it you need? And what about you? You get a battering ram and a hay hadron. It's not very intense in the way of siege weaponry, but then again, I imagine elves are not that way inclined. But I, oh, we've got a little little treasury with a little, little waterfall going on. Beautiful buildings. Beautiful indeed. What comes from you? We have dug out a new oh, it's a... Door. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, we could summon prison guards. And... Oh, it's a maneuverability for you guys as well. So very nice stuff. Very nice stuff indeed. Anything else to look at while, uh, while I'm knocking around here? Oh, I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something really obvious. Sylvan clearing. Oh, from here, right, okay. So you get more woodland elves. So th these are like the elite boys, and these are the 
regular boys watch are a lot lot cheaper nice okay and yeah you get you get riders from these guys so no major focus on the uh, horse people from the air but then again in living in the woods you wouldn't expect them to have lots of horse people i want to know what the prison guards look like because these i can't imagine what an elvish prison guard would look like over there just like like a normal elf but I'm, I'm thinking in my head like English prison guards. I've seen Charles Bronson way too many times. Not hit, not the actual man, but like. Do you... You're going to summon him then? There we go. Come out. And here they are. And you are... Okay, alright. Fair enough. Bombard alternative weapon. Stop right there. Villainous scum. What do you do? Oh, is it, is it alternative weapon? Do I then do that? No, well, I'll do something while we're going anyway. So, thanks for coming. Lovely to see you. To see you nice. We'll get some regular ladies and lads while we're knocking around here. But yeah. Nice little, nice little waterfall. Bit of wine. There is work to be done. Take Love how these guys have got little, little, little barrels and, and wagons and stuff to carry things around. All the good stuff. So, we'll just see these guys come out. Yeah, here they are. Ready for your orders. Little ranger roos. Their burrs. A lot of ginger people in the woodland realms, has to be said. Alright, and the powers that be. They've got horns. They've got sentries. A lot of these units, from what I understand, also can hide in woods. Makes them wonderful for ambushing. Which is quite cool and gnarly. Sound a good fortune. Some of the white stag. That's cool. And the great horn of Orm. All right, nice one. I think we've only got one more left. One more left, so we'll go for that one. Okay, all right, so this is Lothlorien. This is the last one that we're looking at. And these guys don't have much in the way of buildings, but hold your horses there. Because they've got quite an interesting mechanic when it comes to their trees. So build a couple of couple of these Lothlorindies. And also sing as well. Isn't that just beautiful? Very nice. We have these like super wood people, from what I understand. And you get an orphan, Rum, Rommel, Idris Elba, whatever you call them. Celebrity, and of course, Gladriel, our main girl. And we also get other things. But yeah, so check out these so, so we can either upgrade them to uh, be better at resource collection, to have a garrison to recruit people for infantry, horses. Or uh, storehouse. So we'll actually we'll have a look at up one upgrade for each of these. I think that'll be cool and see how it changes the effect of the on the trees. Also, for instance, as well, they've also got like a little a little boon around them. I think generous resources also as a because because you can see they've, they've got their big ring, but they've also got another ring around them, which I'm, I'm curious as to what does that do. What do you do? Can I, if I hover over yet, uh, can be specialised, uh, oh no, never mind, no, it's, it's nothing, it's just, just aesthetics, aesthetics, yeah, you can get lads and lasses from here, you can also get things from here, long memory, well, these are just upgrades, aren't they, oh, upgrades and also units, okay, let's get a statue, we'll get you out as well, why not, what do you look like, and what do you look like, so, with the resources upgrade, they get little flowers, Ah, isn't that nice? Little, little flowery flowers. Uh, can I build anything else while we're knocking around? An end moot! Yes. And we can also build defensive towers and mirrors. Ooh, research a special faction upgrade to detect stealth. Oh, I, I love the singing. I wonder if they've got like, diff specific songs for specific things. Uh, mirror well. Oh, we need more resources. Well, will get some more resources. Come on, nearly there. There we go. Very oh, well. Oh, what? Oh, I love the aesthetics for, like, these elves. Anything nature, really, is quite cool. So this is Shield Maiden. It's like a hero, I guess. Does things. Quite useful. Yeah, these guys, when they get the upgrade, they get a little, a little house on there. You get some horses around the base. And you get another house with more upgrades. So cool. Very nice. 
Although only only one type of horses. That's interesting. Secondary upgrades? Oh, I see. Right, that's what those are for. But I assume you get more horses from other places. If you don't, well, that doesn't matter because you've got loads of cool elves. And treants. So you can summon tree beard if you want. Or a regular ent. It's quite gnarly. Or summon more trees around you. Not sure what that benefit does. Does that give you a, an AoE thing? No, it does not. But what comes from a special well to increase production speed for Sylvians, for decreased knights, and trees. Okay, so no, nothing too crazy, but still quite useful. A further upgrading past your usual standard upgrades for everyone. So very nice. Very nice indeed. So one more thing to look at is the end. And then, and then we'll, we'll end this, baby. We'll, we'll, we'll finish it all up. Come on, Enti man. Come along. Show us your powers. Show us your flowers. Get him rising from the deeps. Little friendly tree man. Hello. How are you doing? Very slow. Very lumbering. But we like it. Quite the beard on him as well. Very good. Okay, let's have a look at the powers. We've got more horns. You can go no further. All that usual good stuff. Very thematic for all their stuff. Also, called on walls, conjure a roaring gale, and mist of Lothlorien. So yeah, that's that's basically all I want to show you. So I know it's been a, a bit of a bit of a not. It's, it's been like a shallow kind of look, hasn't it? Like I said, I don't want to go too deep deep into it because I want you guys to have fun and exploring this game as much as I have. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll leave the links in the description to various discords and stuff. Uh, might even try and have some games on, on my own discord, uh, potentially, maybe, if I ever have time. Probably not, but I'll make some space on that, maybe, if people want it. Uh, let me know in the discord if that is something that you want for a channel to be made for, and I, I will most certainly do so. And, yeah, that's it. So, cool. Cheers. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll see you in a bit. Peace.